Hi, we're at the Deco Garage. I have a few belts to measure, so I'm gonna show you how to use the Fact Finder tool. This gauge provides an accurate measurement for belts and comes in handy when you're unable to identify the part number, which can sometimes happen if the belt is old or the numbers have worn off. Let's look at the different components that make up the Fact Finder tool. The front side is meant for automotive and heavy duty bee belts, which are typical in thousands of industrial, lawn and garden, and farming applications. The other side is used to measure serpentine belts. This part here is the measurement stick with both metric and standard increments. There are two measurement belt melts. The top is stationary and the bottom slides. The bottom has an inches slot, a millimeter cutout, and a measurement window. To use the tool, start by placing the V-belt on the top mount like this. Slide the bottom mount downwards. Place the V-belt in the bottom mount. Then pull the belt as tightly as you can. With the belt pulled tight, notice the top of the belt in both the inches and metric cutout. Make note of what white block the top of the belt falls within. These numbers serve as inch and metric profiles of the belt. As you can see, this particular belt falls within the 17 block on the inch side. The number next to the 17 in the measurement window is 590. This means that the belt is 59 inches. Now, let's look at the metric measurement. This belt falls into the 13A block. So go down to the rectangular measurement window again and check the number next to the 13A line. It reads 1500 millimeters. You now have circumference measurements for your V-belt. These numbers align with the belt's standard number, 17590, and its metric part number, which is 13A1500. It's a very accurate way to figure out what deco part number you need for a replacement belt. This tool can also be used for deco industrial belts, as well as any non-deco branded belt. It will allow you to pinpoint the exact length which then can be used to find the DACO part number by visiting the DACO North American website.